Howdy, partner. Chainsaw? What are you doing here? What does it look like I'm doing here? I'm selling body armor. Body armor? Since when? Since Monday. Today's Monday. Yep, been doing it since then. Step right up and take a look at what we got. Everything is 95% off. Oh, wow. Yep. Can't beat that. Check this one out. Light, breathable. We'll probably stop a blow dart in its tracks. Not a fan, huh? Not a problem. Check this one out. Heavy, cumbersome, will weigh you down to the point of mental fatigue, just like my crippling depression in my wife. No? How about this one? Sturdy, rigid, pure, unadulterated, redneck ingenuity. We'll definitely stop a slap from an angry Will Smith at the Oscars. You made these yourself, didn't you? Guilty. Yeah, I'm gonna have to pass. I thought you might say that. That's why any purchase you make comes with a free gun. Nah, I'm good, man. Please, I need you to take this. My wife said I can't bring any of this stuff home. I'll give you a hundred bucks. Yeah, nah. Nah, not. Hello, welcome to Demolition Rest. My name is Matt. I'm glad that you are here. We have a lot of really cool stuff, actually. This is a video that I'm pretty intrigued and excited about uh, because we do testing of body armor all the time and testing of all kinds of armor. And we also do homemade body armor. This though is taken to the next level. We actually put out, if you guys have any homemade body armor, if you make something, if you have an idea, let us know and we'll tell you if we wanna see it. And we have four examples of redneck ingenuity at its finest. We are calling this segment Redneck Ingenuity Homemade Body Armor. And let me show you a little bit of what we have. First up, let's talk about this chain mail. So this is made by a guy named Chris. He is from Marquette, Michigan. Thank you, Chris. He said, big fan of the channel. When he saw that he might be able to make the show, he figured, why not let Matt destroy this? He said he made this. This is Copper Links. He said that he hand bent every single one. There are over 10,000 5 16 inch, 16 gauge solid copper rings. He said, I opened, set, and closed every single one by hand and it took him three years to make this. And then he, you know, heard about our little challenge and he was like, yeah, I'll send it to Matt, let him destroy it. So anyway, your three years of hard work, we're gonna go ahead and destroy it all in about three seconds. But thank you, Chris. We love you, buddy. Next up, this was sent to me from Dustin from Indonesia. Uh, it's this, and actually kind of interesting. So Dustin said, he, uh, he graduated from Singapore in mechanical engineering. He currently lives in Indonesia and he studies material science and he made some body armor. He said, we have limited guns here, obviously, but he you know, did a bunch of stuff. Listen, this dude's obviously really smart. I'm gonna read what he wrote. Not any of it makes any sense to me. Um, he said, the material is similar to dragon skin, which you can see it kind of has layered scale looking uh, material there. He said, um, with additional centered carbides bound together with some Honeywell spectra backed by UHMWPE. In theory, it should eliminate all the negative threats. Um, so we're gonna see what happens. He said, I have limited access to guns, so I haven't actually tested this. Um, so hope it works. And even if it fails, I think the video will still be funny. Dustin, I agree. Thank you for this. We are going to shoot this thing as well. Uh, it is a little bit flexible which is the pro of dragon skin. It is very bulky though, which is the con of dragon skin. All right, the next one and the one I'm most excited about is this, this mask. It looks like it's made out of clay, but it's because he has welded so many little pieces of metal and then ground them down. Uh, it's, it is solid metal. And then he put it on like a, like a welder's helmet strap back here. Um, he actually didn't tell us anything about it, but you can see on the inside how it is a bunch of different pieces of metal all welded together. So this is from Brett McCoy. All he told us is it is plasma CNC cut sheet steel welded together with a MIG welder. So that's pretty much all we need to know. Um, could stop some slow moving rounds, 
but it's not it sounds like he didn't heat treat this or harden it and it's very thin you can see how thin it is but it does work and if will smith was coming at you with a slap i'd probably rather just be slapped because this i mean it does it does kind of work could stop a, a bullet we'll find out together <laughs> uh this guy's name is woody who made this which is as a happy accident as to where we actually put that for this start. Woody said, the idea I had was filling a few chrome VW moon hubcaps with different materials in each one. Um, and so we're gonna be shooting two of them today. One has concrete and then one, he called it elastomeric. It's full of, I'll show it to you in a minute. I'll show it to you, I'll show it to you right now. Ugh. I have no idea what that is, but it is, yeah but it is sort of squishy. Um, you can cut it with a knife, but like it's, it's dense. I don't know what elastomeric is, but we're gonna find out. Um, everything's fine, all's good. Here's the one full of concrete. So he sent us two nice VW old hubcaps. Um, he said he also has a VW Vanagon, Westphalia, and uh, it's a shell. So he said it might need to be shot and ran over the tank. Woody, we can make that happen. Okay, we have a brand new gun too. What the? Oh, my brand new gun just fell into the dirt. Um, uh, we'll be right back. <laughs> this thing was so clean. Uh, it was unfired and now it's just covered in dirt. My bad. This, is, I actually don't know how to say this, so I'm gonna probably butcher it. Sar Silmaz? Um, it's Sar USA. It's a nine millimeter, all, steel gun, stainless steel. Uh, so very beefy, nine millimeter, has that external hammer, nice trigger, it's got a flared magwell. Um, looks like a 17 round magazine. Ambi safety, nice sights. I've never shot it before. We're gonna shoot it today at some very interesting redneck homemade body armor. But first I think we need to start a little bit smaller. First up, 22, psych, throw an axe. Ugh. Okay, it's a little bit low, but it was close. Okay, I dialed it in, my sights were off, but they're on now. Told you! Look, he's got one stuck in him. Oh, dude, it cut a bunch of them. Okay, um, not looking good. We're gonna actually hit this one with a couple more blunt things, just because that's what chain is actually for, not bullets, and see what it does. Um, the first blunt thing, I guess it's not really, it's kind of blunt but it's very heavy. <laughs> We're busting it up. All right. But I mean, yeah, you're going to be you're going to be pretty bruised, have some broken ribs. But it did keep most of the axe out of him. Now, what about something a little sharper, a little pointier? That not ideal situation for you. <laughs> okay. Um, while I do appreciate your three years of hard work, work harder next time. I'm just kidding. <laughs> All right, we're gonna uh, shoot it with guns now. And I bet a 22 will go through this. Uh, copper is kind of soft. And we're hitting it with a fast moving, small projectile, but I bet a 22 is gonna go right through. <sighs> We'll find out. First up, 22 long rifle, and I brought the absolute hardest one to aim ever. But we're gonna see what we can do here. Okay, um, we're gonna go. We're gonna go left to right. Man, this is this is gonna be very hard to hit thing. I think I got it. Oh, we better do a reload. We need a tactical reload. Oh. Look at that. We got our spares right there. Okay, now we're going at the chain mail. That looked like a hole straight through it. Okay, now the hubcap, which I'm really kind of worried about some ricochets. I hit it. 
Okay, and the mask. Definitely scared of Ricochet on this too. Knocked a stick down in the tree, which means it went boom. And the last hubcap, fire in the hole. That definitely went high. I don't know if you all know, but this gun, oh, that's pocket lint. Not the easiest thing to aim or shoot or really do anything with. Firing. I saw leaves move again. I need to pull it way down, I guess. Giddy up, partners. Yeah, buddy. I aimed here, here, here. These two went over, so then I aimed like low, and I think it went left. That's the one I can tell by the way that it is. Firing. Oh, it's right there. We hit it. We're good. We have a hit. Let's check them all out now and see where they went. First up, straight into the dragon skin. Looks like right there. Uh, I can see some metal or ceramic, whatever that is, right there. Nothing came through. That's a win. We have a successful bullet stoppage. No penetration on this guy. We gotta call it. He's... I'm sorry, dude. Your chainmail looked really cool, but it did not work. Thank you for sending it. Next up, hubcap. This one is the one full of concrete. We have a little dent right there, but Nothing going in. Next up, dude, this thing's boss. Hit right there, barely even scratched the paint. I think, where did it hit there? There's two scratches on this thing, and neither one of them are dented. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's that one. I think it went boink. That one looks solid so far. This one, we actually hit right here in the tape. Oh, there's a hole. Dang. Okay, so it did go through the hubcap, did it go through whatever that stuff is on the inside? Uh, it punched him right in the pee pee. That's, that's a straight up hole um, in a place you don't want to get a hole. Yeah, uh, whatever this, this weird stuff is, let that bullet come straight through. Okay, you're out. We have three left in this competition. All right, we are up to nine millimeter. So we are gonna shoot the SAR USA, and this will be actually my first time to shoot it. So we will see how it goes. What was that? Okay. Um, let's just go ahead and shoot this thing. Woo. Oh, I missed the last shot. <laughs> Uh, I get excited on those runs. Uh, this is a good shooting pistol. So it's got some weight because it's all metal and it doesn't kick up much. Really does feel pretty good. All right, it is time though to go ahead and shoot these targets. 
Psych. One more thing I want to show you guys. Come over here. We're doing a giveaway. Pigeon, tell them about it. I don't think they understand you. Um, okay, anyway, oh, that was great, thank you. We have these shirts. We did a March Madness thing where we had a bunch of shirts and these are the top four, the final four, if you will. We have this one. We have this one. We've got this one. And we've got this one. So what we have for us is a bunch of prizes. We're doing a giveaway. People that order that shirt will be entered into winning some of this stuff. So we have four different shirts. Whichever one sells the most will be the first place shirt and then so on down the line. The first place prize, the first place winner will be picked out of someone who ordered that first place shirt. So you gotta try to pick the shirt you think will sell the most if you wanna be entered in for the first place shirt. The first place prize is we're gonna fly one of you and a friend out to Cletus and Cars in Indianapolis. It's gonna be sick. We're gonna get you into the event. You can watch the ranch tang do a burnout. It'll be amazing. The second place prize is right here. We have a box from Crimson Trace, which has a bunch of cool stuff. It has a Hardline Pro scope in it. It's got a knife, hat, Oakley's, a nice hard case. We got some Ear Pro. We got a bottle. It's awesome. One of you guys who wins the second place prize will get that. And we also have some stuff from Mira Safety. We have some gas mask here. One, two, three, four. Plus we have your canisters, couple canteens. We're gonna pick four of you guys as well out of group two shirts to win these. Group three is right here from Surefire. We have a bunch of things from Surefire. We're gonna send you some EDC lights, plus there's some EarPro, some water bottles, some stuff from Surefire, appreciate them. And group four, we have a swag box from Bunker. It has seven shirts, one for each day of the week, plus some stickers and a hat. You're gonna look amazing. Let me show you those shirts one more time. Right here before you. These are the four shirts. So we started with 16 shirts, and we actually just did a voting, and you guys were voting for them, and we did head-to-head -head competitions, and these are the four shirts we have left. So these are our top four shirts, and now they're all competing for first place. So, link in the description below. You can get one of these shirts if you think this one's gonna be the first place, go for that. But if you're like, man, I don't know, I really want a chance to go to Cletus, then I would go ahead and just get all of them, because they're all awesome shirts. We got Metallica-looking shirt right here with a saw on it. They're all good-looking shirts. And so, you know, worst case, you just look amazing. Best case, you get some awesome prizes. Link in the description below. Okay, we're back a little further since we're shooting nine millimeter at some hard things. That one on the left though, it's not that hard. Let's see if I can hit it from here. Oh, the wind's blowing me. Okay. And now the hubcap with concrete. And the face mask. Giddy up. All right. Let's see our dragon skin. Look, looking good, because I can see the jacket. Yeah, solid. And dragon skin usually deteriorates as it gets hit. Oh, yeah, there's lead right there. So the lead is shoved up underneath this, whatever this fiber is. Uh, it usually deteriorates. That actually looks pretty good. So that one lives and will go on. Nice. Hubcap, holy cow. <laughs> Look at that. That is so cool. Okay, uh, yeah, I mean, that stopped it pretty hardcore. Um, there actually is a little bit of concrete. So it did crack it all the way through. It didn't go through, but it cracked the back side there. So weakening, but obviously stopped that bullet with authority there. Now this one, oh, I thought it went through. I saw the crack and I thought it went through, but it actually did stop that. So a nine millimeter hit right here and it broke our weld. You can see where it almost went through. It probably would have cut his lip a little bit. Maybe, I don't know, it looks pretty good. But the bullet did not go through. That is a full stop from all three which means we need to go find something a little more powerful. All right, first up the HK MP7, 4.6 millimeter. 
definitely an MP7. Man, HK just really makes a nice gun. I'm just kidding. This is a CMMG, but it's chambered in the same thing as the Force, I mean, as the MP7. It's chambered in 4.6 millimeter. Okay! Alright, I think this is a tiny little fast moving round. I think that it will go right through that face shield. But there's really only one way to know. Alright, 4 6. Where'd you go? Yep, right there. Alright, solid. That definitely stopped it. Man, this is crazy. This guy like hand wove all this, these fibers around here. Good job. Good job. That one passes a very fast moving small round. Ooh, this one not looking so great. There's a hole there. And yeah. No, there's no hole here. It cracked all the way to the backside, but that bullet did not go through. That bullet is in the middle of that concrete somewhere. This one lives too, okay. Ooh, this one uh, not looking so great. Actually, I think it might have stopped it too. Wow, it did. All right, so he did get hit a little bit, like it cracked it, and I'm sure some fragments came through, but it busted it up so much that it didn't even break this plastic. Three for three again. You rednecks are really quite good at engineering with your redneck supplies. All right, no more messing around. We got 5.56 five, coming in hot and the sight's off. So it, we're messing around a little bit, but not much. Um, I'm going to say 5.56 five, is going through every single one. But, you know, I've been wrong before. Don't tell my wife. One. Concrete hubcaps coming in hot. A lot of dust off of that. Face mask. This is for sure not stopping it. I think I saw something hit the dirt. In case I miss, I'm going to shoot again. Okay, let's see what we got. I've told you a thousand times, you know what happens. All right, uh, I don't see any holes in the back, which is a good sign unless that's new. Um, let's see what we got. Oh. oh, yeah, so you can see the ceramic. We hit that similar place to, oh, yeah, that went through. Not good. So this was the 4.6, and it looks like our 5.56 went here. Shattered that ceramic plate right there and did go straight through. Yeah, that is it. So that's hanging down low enough. I think that is our hit. Looks like it looks like it did go through. Five, five, six. Took one down. I can see a straight hole. Oh yeah. Looks like he took. That's actually it right there. So all of this is new, I think. Oh, he put he put wire in here. This guy knows how to concrete. Look at that. Got some rebar. Okay, he doesn't know how to concrete. That's that's real soft stuff. Oh yeah, bro, come on, you didn't even cure this. It also might be that some bullets have flown through it and cracked a little bit, but I think the 556 took down the concrete VW hubcap as well. Yeah, definitely hit this guy with both shots. Right in the schnoz. He's dead too. Brand new pistol added to the collection today. And I like it. I am a fan. Also, I'm a fan of this. I've decided that on each of these tests where we do fan made armor, we're going to award a winner. And it doesn't necessarily, it's not necessarily based on 
if it stops. Because like you could just send me a two inch thick plate of steel and it's gonna stop everything we got. But like it's it's about ingenuity. It's about making something cool, something that, that works, and something that's different and unique. And Brett McCoy, you, my friend, are a 2022 Redneck Ingenuity Homemade Body Armor winner. And not only are we gonna make you a sick trophy and send it to you, we're also gonna send you this Surefire Light. This is the Scout Light Pro 1000 Lumens coming your way. So anyway, thank you to all four of you guys who sent this stuff. This is super awesome. There's an email in the description if you have some ideas of something that you want to send us that you're like, man, I know something that would be really cool. We are taking suggestions and if you think you can make it, I want to see it. Thanks so much for watching this episode of Dimmel's Rage. I love you! And I'll see you next time. Bye. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> it's quite simple. There's only one rule in the demolition. You don't tell Mayor.